So this is going to be just a little video on how to make a stencil using your Cricut. And I did this through the app Cricut Design. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the text button in the bottom left. And you're going to search for your font that you want to use. Here I'm going to be using Bradley Hand. And you're going to type the first word of your stencil. You're going to edit it to the size that you wish. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click the shapes button and you're going to pick the square. Now it's easier if you make your wording and the shape two different colors. You're going to edit the shape and you're going to change the size of that. You can also drag it using the arrow in the corner. You just need to unlock the lock button between the width and the height to adjust it to the size you need. You're going to take your first word and you're going to lay it onto the square and you're going to highlight everything. You're going to go to your actions button and you're going to slice it. When you slice it, you're basically cutting the word out of the shape. So then you'll have two layers that you need to delete. You're going to go back to your text if you have more words to add to your stencil. And for this specific stencil, I did anchors the a little smaller than the hope. So I did that in its own section and I adjusted it to the width and height that I wanted. Now you see the lock between the width and the height. If you click on that, it'll unlock it and then you can add any custom width and height that you want. And once that was to the size I wanted, I laid that on top of my square. I then highlighted everything again, went to my actions and sliced it. And then I moved those layers out of the way. And then I repeated this step again. I went to the text in the bottom left. I typed in the font I needed, which was Bradley Hand, and I typed the word soul. I adjusted this word by going to edit and then I adjusted the width and the height. Once that was at the size I wanted, I then laid that on top of my square. And then once again you're going to highlight everything, go down to your actions and slice it. In this specific stencil, I also added Hebrew 619 to the bottom. And you're basically just going to repeat those steps until you have all the wording in your square. Now, this next step is important to keep everything connected when the Cricut cuts it. So you're going to zoom in. You're going to go down to your shapes and pick the square. And I'm going to make like a thick line. And we're going to... Put this thick line across any letter that has the cutout in the center. You're going to go to your actions and you're going to weld this. Now welding it will keep it so when the Cricut cuts it, the center of that O is going to stay connected to the whole stencil. And you're going to do this Again, with the P, the E, the A, and any letter that has that center gray, that will be lost when the Cricut cuts it. I hope that makes sense. I do this all individually because it's easier for me to move the square around than the little thick line. So you're just going to make the line by going to your shapes and your square. Adjust it to, you don't want it too thin. You want it a little thicker. You can always fill that spot in after you've stenciled it. And you're just going to attach it through the letter to the outside part of the stencil. So when the Cricut cuts it, 
that piece is still connected to the lettering. And it's okay if it's a little long because as long as it stays inside that square, when you weld it, it's going to blend in. And then you highlight it, go down to your actions, and hit weld. And I basically repeated this through the entire stencil on any letter where it needed to be connected. Now I hope that was helpful for anybody who is interested in making their own stencils. And once you have everything set in, in place, sliced and welded, you can just adjust that square to whatever size you want your stencil to be. And if you guys need help with anything, have any questions, just let us know. Thank you so much for watching.